one of York's hidden gems, the Mansion House. It's currently undergoing a dramatic transformation, with £2.6 million being spent on restoring the home. For centuries, the house has been used by the Lord Mayor to entertain visitors to the city and to store York's civic collections. This is the most comprehensive restoration of the Mansion House since it was built in 1725. Um, it's got four key strands. One is the restoration of our 18th century kitchens, which we're standing in today. One is the display of our gold and silver collection, as we have one of the biggest civic collections outside London, and it's all hidden um, away. Another element very much is the conservation of the building, that's putting a new heating system in to, to regulate the temperature and humidity in the building, um, and also to make the building much more green. So we're using air source heat pumps to heat the building and using low energy light bulbs and so forth. And the final element was the oral history project, which captured the memories of the people who lived and worked in the building, as well as the Lord Mayors and Sheriffs. Work on the outside of the building is the most challenging part of the project, with a whopping 47 different layers of paint being stripped from the brick. Currently, one of the most striking elements of the front facade is crest. Now, that has been stripped back to stone, it's been primed, it's been conserved, and now it's getting repainted as it would have been when it was first painted with lead paint and gilding. So when the scaffolding comes down, the people of York are going to see this fantastically beautiful and striking crest on a newly painted facade of the house. So it's going to look really quite stunning. The conservation work has even uncovered parts of the building that weren't known about before. It has its challenges. It, it has given me sleepless nights with lots of things that's gone on, but everything from finding the Roman road under the building to finding a mummified cats to even the paint going on the front has been a fantastically great process. And I'm really equally looking forward to lighting this fire that's behind me for the first time and then we can start cooking on the range. I just thought it'd be exciting. So it hasn't quite stopped the excitement yet. But could this public money be spent better elsewhere? Buildings like this do have an importance. They do attract people to the city. They, therefore, they improve the city finances by spending money. And equally, what would we do with buildings like this? You could use an argument about so many different buildings that we fund. And also, I mean, I mean particularly what's good about this project is that we are doing this to reduce the future costs of this building as well. So by doing this work now, by putting new heating systems in, we're reducing the damage to such buildings, we put them on a firmer financial footing, so therefore they will actually cost the council less going forward than if we just did nothing. The grand unveiling of the new refurbished house is planned for the last weekend in October, and entry will be free to all York residents. Anna Riley, BATS TV.